What's up, YouTube? Uh-oh. What happened? Back the bag paper here. Smoking a acid blondie. Sunday morning. Yeah. Might be a little too sweet. Yeah. I don't know if I like this. Maybe that'll go away. <sighs> Not smoking a pipe today. Well, right now. Probably smoke one today though. All right, kind of went away a little bit. It's like initial sweetness. Wasn't like super crazy about it. I don't know if it's better to record straight into YouTube or um, from my phone upload to YouTube. I don't know. I guess I'll find out. It's supposed to go live, but um, as everybody knows by now, a thousand subscribe. You have to have a thousand subscribers to do it from YouTube. But I've had the Streamlabs app, and I've been using that to go live. Now that's not working. So if anybody has any uh, alternatives to Streamlabs to go live on YouTube under a thousand subscribers, okay. It got better. Still, uh, you know, I don't think I'm too crazy about it, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, acid, and I got another one, a bigger one. I never tried the Acid brand. The um, Acid brand uh, is definitely a uh, marketing, um, well, I mean, they're different cigars. It's definitely a marketing thing to attract younger uh, cigar smokers. You know, it's got the guy in the motorcycle, you know, trying to make it cool, you know, not an old guy's thing. But what they did is also flavored them, so I never really tried. I might have had an acid a little while ago. They've been around for a few years. Uh, I don't remember if I did. But, uh... I thought I'd give them a try. Anyway, I bought them at the Pipe Club meetup. So the St. Pete Pipe Club meetup uh, on the 24th of August uh, was pretty good. Good turnout. Yeah, I'm probably not going to buy the Acid Blondie again. I like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely fickle with cigars, man, more than so than pipe tobacco. I don't like, that's why I'm scared of uh, this Chupacabra I'll show you. I don't like uh, double Maduros. I don't like dark cigars too much. I mean, I, I could probably deal with it, but I really just like the most mild cigars that aren't super sweet, and this is extra sweet. Probably not going to smoke this one again. It's too much, man. It's too much, too much. You're only supposed to have a tiny taste. But, uh, I got uh, a couple more cigars here. Let's 
fifty dollars. This is why uh, I'm a pipe smoker mostly. I don't burn. I can't. I can't live. I can't live this lifestyle. Of course, these aren't cigars I would typically smoke anyway. I like the cheap, mild ones. So, real leaf, but cheap. Not paper. And the, a lot of those factory seconds, like fifty for forty dollars, those are good. I'll probably get those next because I'm pretty fickle about cigars. Um, these so acid, another acid is a bigger one. Cuba Maduro, Cuba maybe Cuba Maduro, yeah, probably Cuba. Uh, ten dollars for this. I mean, I don't think so. I'm not super up on cigar uh, pricing, but I just I don't know. I feel like the acid is for the the younger cigar smoker, and I'm not liking it. Uh, I'm not. Um. It's not that great. I can still smoke it though. It's just like, uh, you know, alcohol. I can, somebody can make me a, uh, a mixed drink. I'm like, I don't like this. But you still drink it. Because uh, you just don't have another one. You have something else. And I bought another one of these. This is uh, FSG. Um, Florida Sun Grown. Uh, out of Claremont, Florida, which is just to the west of Orlando. One of the only parts in the state where there's actually like a really high area, so it almost looks like you're not in Florida. It's like, you know, you can look down when you're driving in from the west. You're like looking down at Claremont. It's kind of weird. It's like, am I in Florida? It's got some high, high spots. Then recommended to me, which I, I mean, this looks like a good cigar. The uh, Esteban Carreras Chupacabra. It's got a weird tip, you know, like a twisty. Uh, recommended by my buddy from the Pipe Club, Josh, aka Briar's Edge. Uh, I think he still has a YouTube channel. I don't know if he goes, I don't think he posts anymore. Um, again, that's a uh, dark cigar, so I'm a little afraid of it. Um, not a fan, usually, typically, of dark cigars, but I'll give it a whirl. Oh, yeah, it's also got a weird end to it, too. It's, they like twisted up the end. And I asked him, I'm like, I asked Josh, I was like, uh, so I gotta cut that side too? He goes, no, you just burn that. I'm like, oh, okay. I don't know. Never had a cigar like that. It smells nice. And, um, and then another acid. I might give one of these away, dude. I, I have a feeling I'm not gonna like these. I, I, I don't think I like acid. <laughs> I don't think I like acid. I'm like, but like, it still has the cigar flavor, so it's like I'm trying to like get through it. I'm really in a mood for a fucking smoke. I'm trying to douse the sweetness with this tea. Unsweet Yorkshire tea. My favorite tea. They have it in the. It's in the international food section. It's English tea. They don't carry it next to the regular tea. You gotta get it with all the other English shit. Which, funny enough, is mixed with curries. Sherwood curries. Because the English love Indian curry so much that it's like in every English restaurant as an English dish. I, th I always think that's hilarious. And it's on the shelf with the English food. I love it. I love curry too, and Sherwood curry is great if you uh, 
want to change up your dinner, you know, throw some chopped chicken in there, uh, some rice and all that shit. They have like five different curries. Yeah, this is definitely for the, the young vapor, vape type smoker. Yeah. Uh, I could definitely say I think I'm too old for this shit. I like the logo, you know, the, the silhouette of the motorcycle dude. You know, I get it. And uh, Drew Estate produces this, which uh, they're pretty good. They're, yeah. So, in the inside of the label, the rebirth of cigars. Sorry. <sighs> yeah, that's fucking no. That's a no for me. Um, See, so yeah, like I said, I wanted to go live, and it wouldn't let me. Technology, dude, is such a pain in the fucking ass. I, I know why they made it a thousand subscribers because the guy went live with hardly any subscribers and shot up a charger or something like that. But it's like, come on. Can't they just make shit easy? Now the other one's not working. It's like, I mean, it's 2019, like, let's fucking, this shit shouldn't be, you know, I'm so sick of combing for fucking, combing through, th uh, posts or whatever, combing through threads, what do you call it, D looking for fixes, oh, my Streamlabs isn't working, what do I do, oh, did you try this, no, that didn't work, did you try this, no, that didn't work. Is it, is it such a fucking tall order for something to just work? It's like shit work. I mean, that's with everything, dude. It's like shit works for like two months and then it dies. Even like if you go buy something from the store, nothing's made to last, dude. Even, even technology is shit. Anyway, we're uh, avoiding... It looks like we're avoiding Hurricane Dorian, so that's cool. That was uh, stressful, you know. Uh, not as stressful as Irma, because uh, Irma, we got caught with her pants down. We had nothing. And then this year, we bought, started buying supplies at the beginning of the summer, and we installed a uh, hurricane shutters. I'm definitely giving uh, one of these to my coworkers or something, dude. I'm not. I might give them both to them. I, I don't think I can smoke these, dude. It's too sweet. It's like so artificial. I'm very fickle with cigars. It's got to be real mild with a slight sweetness and not a topping, but like just the natural tobacco sweetness. Pretty uh, cigar basic. I ain't gonna lie, dude. I don't have the stomach for it, dude. I get nauseous. But, and you know, I know that's a lot of us do nicotine content and all that, too. And I also read that, uh, no, I didn't read. I saw on uh, one of the cigar videos on YouTube, you know, one of the big companies put out info and uh, they said, uh, Cigar, cigar uh, nauseousness, what is it, this and that. You know, nicotine. And did you know that um, you could actually die from a uh, nicotine overdose? And, like, if you, if some guy did a cigar challenge and he sat there and got sick and kept smoking them, like, to see how many could smoke, you could die. That's real shit. That's crazy. 
because that's your body telling you like you're getting poisoned. That's the, that's the nausea system. They're like, just put the cigar down, take a five minute break. You know, I'm uh, I can't handle high nicotine pipe tobaccos either. No, I do not like haunted bookshop. I gave that shit away. I do not like um, to inhale nightcap. In fact, I might, I have some. I think unopened. I do trades or something. If anybody wants a Dunhill nightcap trade, let me know. I think I have an unopened one or two. I don't know. I like uh, mild Englishes. Man, I'm pissed. I don't like this. And I got two more, so that was thirty dollars blown. I really thought like, oh, it's gotta be like easy smoking cigar for beginner smoke cigar smokers. I'm not a beginner. I've been smoking for uh, let's do some math here. Twenty three years, Jesus Christ, since I turned eighteen. But most of the cigars I ever smoked were Garcia Vegas, because that's what my dad smokes. And uh, you know, from the CVS or whatever. Then they started getting shittier. Uh, they used to be pretty good. My dad said uh, Muriel's Coronas were really good. They were like good leaf, leaf cigars, you know, even though you bought them at the, at the drugstore. And then they went, like I think to paper, you know, they went to total shit. So then he switched to Garcia Vega. Um, and now they're, they seem to be diminishing in quality a little bit, you know. Uh, but he's like one of those guys that's like, you know, one, one, at least one a day. He wasn't taking trips to cigar stores or anything, so. Uh, he was just getting kind of the, the daily smokers. That's kind of what it is. And Garcia Vegas aren't bad. I mean, they're still not that bad. Um, but I like the uh, good di good di good old days or good times or old times. Those are the factory seconds that you can buy from Thompson. Not Thompson. Uh, I think it's Scars International. It's like fifty for forty dollars, and they got like a red stripe. That's all they have on the wrapper. Those are those are pretty much my favorite cigars, I guess. And they're cheap. I could have two of those in a day and not feel sick. I don't know. Well, it sucks. I wanted to go live. Chat. Chat with the peeps. Chat Dan. Shouts out to um, River Rat 74. Um, he's one of the new school dudes for uh, YouTube Pipe community that puts out a lot of good content. He just weathered a tornado a few months ago. I like watching him. A lot of the old school guys, 2014 old school. Uh, don't make videos anymore, including myself. I get it, you know. It's, uh... Shit happens. You got other stuff going on. Such is life. But you do it when you can. Yeah. So, the next pipe meetup will be uh, October and um, yeah so uh, the last one was really good a couple of new faces showed up uh, we had uh, Chris Bjarkman youtuber what's up man um, Shit, that's uh, not his YouTube name, though. Not thinking of it. The guy that does the sign language. Also, a uh, great uh, 
current gen current gen pipe YouTube pipe community. YTPC guy. Always puts out good videos. He was there, uh, showed up with his two sons, cool dudes. We had a guy that I met at, in Gulfport, Florida, uh, at a cigar shop. Um, cool guy, uh, Rob. Uh, I had a new guy, uh, Army vet named Chris. He showed up, really cool dude. Enjoyed talking about him. RNA Treasures showed up. Shouts out to RNA Treasures. Probably the most one of the one of the most generous uh, dudes in the pipe community for sure. Uh, they gave gave out a round of pipes again. I mean, Jesus Christ, man! Wow. Those guys are so cool, man. Shouts out to Randy and Angelo. Coolest dudes. Uh, we definitely missed a few people. Uh, Swamp Piper. Um, JWK. Elwood. Uh, MP Pipes. Uh, Dagners, you know. Always good to have them show have them show up from time to time. But uh, you know, can't make them all. I get it. That's why I set the pipe club meetups to be every two months. Even though I jumped four months this time because eh, it's just been busy. And, uh, it wasn't until I started getting a few. When's the next pipe club meetup? messages I'm like oh, all right let me throw another one in because uh, admittedly I I, I could have probably fit one in there I just it's been a busy time and whatever it's cool uh, Rick Farah um, did not come to this one but he's been to the last few um, So yeah, all right, well, this video is getting long, a little pissed about the no live streaming. So once again, if anybody has an alternative to Streamlabs on mobile with under a thousand subscribers, let me know in the comments, because uh, I need something else. I'll be looking into it. All right, guys. Take care.